This is my only design of a Magnus propeller. Unlike a regular propeller, this one uses a Magnus effect. Before we test it, let me quickly explain what that means. The Magnus effect was discovered by Heinrich Gustav Magnus in the 19th century. He found that a rotating cylinder in a stream of air produced a sideways force. You can notice this effect in everyday life, for example, when you spin a football, a tennis ball or a ping pong ball. But why does this happen? Let me show you in the next animation. There are two main explanations for how this effect is created. The first is based on Bernoulli's principle. When a cylinder spins in a stream of air, the air moves faster on one side and slower on the other. Faster air means lower pressure, slower air means higher pressure. And this pressure difference creates lift. The second explanations come from Newton's third law. The rotation cylinder deflects the incoming air downward. This reaction produces an upward force, which lifts the cylinder. Usually, Magnus propeller need two systems. One to create airflow and one to rotate cylinders. I wondered, what if I combine both with just one motor? So, I designed my own solution. In my design, the motor makes all cylinders rotate together around one main axis, while each cylinder also spin around its own axis. I tried a few different solutions. Let me show you how each one works. In this CAD model, you can see the full gear system of my first attempt. The planetary gears make the cylinders rotate around the main axis, while the bevel gears let them spin around their own axis. Two motions driven by just one brushless motor. Now I just need a setup to test the propeller. To test this prototype, I built a setup with aluminium, wood, plexiglass and 3D printed parts. But the first version didn't work. Too much friction, it jammed. So I made a simpler version with one degree of freedom and it runs smoothly. To control everything I used an Arduino with an infrared sensor to measure RPM. The Arduino also controls the ESC via PWM signals to set motor speed. And for safety I added a plexiglass cover because honestly, I wasn't sure if this propeller would survive high RPMs. And let's start the test. First, I tested with the regular propeller and everything worked fine. I turned the rotary encoder until the propeller lifted off with the motor we can see that this happening at around 3500 rpm. And now I can finally test my propeller. And I tried my propeller, and exactly as I feel, it didn't work. You can see that the clutch dug into the motor mount, blocking rotation. On top of that, the main axle was worn out, causing heavy vibration. So my first Magnus propeller failed. It wasn't strong enough for higher speeds, 
After some thinking and a few hours of designing, I came up with a new idea. In this version, I'm using only pebble gears. The large gear is fixed above the cylinders, while the smaller pebble gears rotate beneath it. While I printed most of the parts on my own 3D printer, I had the gears printed by Igus because I needed them to be stiff and durable. And well, I also wanted to try out the Igus printing service. For this design, I built a new setup that makes assembly easier and more stable. Alright, let's move on to the second test. At 3000 RPM, the centrifugal force becomes too strong. Because of this, I added an outer rim to the cylinders to prevent them from flying off. I also added evenly spaced grooves on the surface of each cylinder. These grooves work like dimples on a golf ball. They create a thin turbulent airflow layer near to the surface, which reduces drag. That means more of the energy goes into the generating lift instead of drag. Just as I started printing my next design, things began to go wrong. The long part didn't stick to the heated bed and when I tried to print it in an angle, I realized I had forgot supports. Then my PA filament ran out. After that, I switched to PLA and that's when my Prusa printer broke down. Since I didn't want to waste more time troubleshooting, I sent the parts to GLC 3DP and had them printed using SLS. The order parts turned out really well. I assembled everything, mounted the brush with motor and attached it to my setup. Finally, I could test it. I also tried this version, but it produced a very loud noise and there was no upward movement. After taking a closer look, I saw that the small barrel gear was jumping out of the larger one. This was caused by a bad axial bearing on the larger gear wheel and the top part of the frame was bending. To fix the axial movement, I added a propeller nut on top. However, it slowed down the rotation and the initial torque became too high, causing the motor to stall. So this design failed too. Even so I tried several different versions, none of them worked. At this point, I'm giving up on the project, at least for now. Maybe in the future I'll try another design. But that's the whole point of prototyping. I tested my ideas, made some mistakes and learned far more from the failures than from the success. And this is my very first video on this channel. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see other, maybe successful or maybe failed projects, please subscribe, leave your feedback in the comments and see you in the next video.